this and see what's going on behind the scenes. So, Wyatt, how do you say your name? Uh, Wyatt? <laughs> how do you say your last name? Farrington. Farrington. You heard it here first. So, Wyatt, are you one child or do you have many siblings? I have a singular brother. Okay, I see. So, Wyatt, what's your favorite subject in school? Um, honestly, I feel like he'd beat me if I didn't say uh, honors business law with Gregory Lopicolo. You heard it there first. There you go, Mr. Lopic. So, okay. So, Wyatt, if you were stranded on an island, what three things would you bring with you? Um, crap, that's hard. All right, um... Um, but first, a lot of water. I'm not trying to die. Um, or is that included, like, on the island well, already? Well, water surrounded by you. So well, yeah, but that's, that's like, oh, that's that. ocean water. No, you're not, okay, we're not going to get into the logistics. Uh, <laughs> all right, so uh, I'm taking some water. That's a big one. Um, I'm going to take, like, an original Xbox, and we're gonna count the tv and stuff in there with it we don't worry about the power we'll figure it out um and all i want is dave mirror freestyle bmx too and that's it that's all it i don't know what half those things are except for the water so there you have it there's wyatt farrington for you that was a really comprehensive interview <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Ephrata. I'm Jade. And I'm Avery. Today is uh, Wednesday, April 3rd. Please rise for a moment of silence and a pledge to the flag. Attention all underclassmen, Friday, April 5th is the last day to quickly and easily change your course for next year. If you would like to modify your course request, be sure to submit the necessary paperwork that can be found in your Schoology resource folder, or by stopping in the counseling office to pick up a change form. As a reminder, you can view your proposed courses for next year on, the com on your community portal account. The listing is in the file cabinet under the reports area. And juniors interested in helping the class of 2023 have a smoother transition to EHS next year, the Linker program is looking for you. The Link leaders are upperclassmen who are solid role models for younger students and who have been successful at our school. We are looking for responsible 10th and 11th graders with good communication skills and leadership potential who are willing to share the lessons they have learned with that have allowed them to be successful at EHS. You can have a tremendous impact on our new students and you will learn many valuable leadership skills in the process. Link leaders are trained to work with and help the incoming freshman cl class transition into high school. If this sounds interesting to you, fill out an application right away, available in Schoology. Applications are due by Friday, this Friday, at 3 p.m. If you aren't sure and would like to know more, please see Ms. Mandel, Ms. Lowe, or Mr. Herbowski for more details. Tickets for the Adams Family will Adams Family would be on sale in the cafeteria on Thursday right after school or in the auditorium lobby from 5 to 7 next Monday and Tuesday night. To pay with cash or check, you may also order uh, tickets online using a credit card at bit.ly slash EHS Theater. Tickets will also be available starting at 5.30 on the nights of the show. Come out and see this funny show. Looking to make some extra cash after school hours? The Ephrata Area School District is looking for students 16 or older to serve as substitute custodians in our elementary buildings. If you are interested in learning more, please stop down to the counseling office to pick up an information sheet. Now over to Nate with the news. The city of Chicago has made history by electing an African-American woman as its mayor for the first time. Lori Lightfoot is a former federal prosecutor who has not held political office before. She fought off competition from 13 other candidates and dominated the final runoff election with more than 74% when the vote was called. 
Lightfoot is also the city's first gay mayor, and, gay mayor and celebrated on stage with her wife and daughter. In other news, the last known survivor of the transatlantic slave ships brought to the U.S. in 1860 has been identified by an academic at Newcastle University. Sally Smith was kidnapped from West Africa by slave traders and lived until 1937 in Alabama. Staying on the plantation where she had been enslaved, Hannah Durkin made the discovery while researching first-hand accounts, archives, and census records. The previous last known survivor had been a former slave who died in 1935. On this day in 1860, the first Pony Express mail, traveling by horse and rider relay teams, simultaneously left St. Joseph, Missouri and Sacramento, California. Ten days later, on April 13th, the westbound rider and mail packet completed the approximately 1,800-mile journey and arrived in Sacramento, beating the eastbound packet's arrival in St. Joseph by two days and setting a new standard for speedy mail delivery. Now over to Gwen with the lunch. You don't even know where we are. Not at school, that's for sure. Today for lunch, we got a Mountaineer popcorn chicken bowl with a whole grain roll of margarine, turkey BLT flatbread, a three cheese or ham and cheese croissant, taco salad, whipped potatoes, fresh broccoli and cucumbers with dip, chilled peaches, fresh fruit, fresh fruit, not flutes. And a slushy. The two sons. I'm running fast! Oh, yeah. In sports action, tennis won 6 to 1 versus Lampeter Strasburg. Today, tennis is home versus Cedarcrest. Softball is away at Solanco. Baseball is home versus Solanco. And both lacrosse teams play against Lancaster Country Day. The boys are at home and the girls are away. Now for a message from the art department. Class of 2020, are you looking for an incredible free leadership opportunity this summer? Check out the Rotary Youth Leader Award, RILA for short, conference at Messiah College this summer from June 9th to 13th. RILA provides a leadership training for outstanding young men and women. The schedule includes various speakers, career seminars, a challenging course, and team building activities, and much, much more. For more information about this free student leadership conference, be sure to check out an application in the Schoology or in Schoology, or you can pick one up in the counseling office. Don't delay because initial paperwork needs to be submitted to the counseling office by April 5th. If you have any questions, please see your counselor ASAP. Attention students of Ephrata High School, if you are interested in running for student council, please stop down to Mr. Marzok's room and pick up your petition. Um, only six members are selected to become representatives, our student council per grade and representative for our student body. And since you represent our school and student body, we will need to hold elections for those positions. To qualify, you'll need to stop down and pick up your petition from Mr. Marzak in room 137. You will need to collect 25 signatures from students in your grade only, or your petition will be void. Next, you'll need to ask a teacher and administrator at the high school for a recommendation, basically saying that you would be a great leader, a hard worker, and represent our school well. But you can't ask Mr. Marzok or Ms. Ashelman because they are student council advisors. Finally, a list of all eligible students will, to be representatives will be sent out to our faculty for one more look-see just to make sure all said students running are within good standing at the high school. And if everything goes well, which it probably will, elections will be held during advisory on Friday, April 12th. That means voting, people. So stop down to see Mr. Marzok and get your petitions and teacher recommendations turned in by Tuesday, April 9th. Any teacher or any petition or teacher recommendation received after Tuesday, April 9th will not be accepted. So stop down and see Mr. Marzok in room 137 and let's get this show on the road. Have a great day, Ephrata.
was the one who had it all. 